Or Movement, Construindo o Futuro de Israel. Esta instituição, que atua no Negev e na Galileia, visa aumentar a população nessas regiões e transformá-las em um local atrativo para se viver. Veja agora a entrevista que Ofir Fischer, cofundador e vice-presidente da Or Movement, deu para a nossa repórter Priscila Celino. Olá, o Shalom Brasil de hoje traz Ofir Fischer. Ele é filho do cantor e razando do Fischer. Mas, na verdade, ele não veio falar nada sobre música. Ele veio conversar sobre uma entidade que ele ajudou a fundar, o Or Movement. How are you? Very good. So, why and when start the Or Movement? Um, it's a good question. We started to think about it when we were like 16, 17 years old. We came back from um, a visit in Poland, in Auschwitz, in the camps. And uh, it was the first Gulf War, more or less at the time, and somehow we got to start thinking of how we can get involved in Israel's future and how we can support to make Israel a more safe, more secured, uh, and a better place to live in. And uh, we understood that uh, um, we need to create some kind of a vision of a goal that will unite Uh, everybody around it. Um, when Israel uh, started, when uh, our forefathers, my, when my grandparents came to Israel, so everybody uh, was united around one mission to reestablish the state of Israel. And even though there were some disputes between the people, everybody still thought that this is the main goal, this is what everybody needs to achieve now. Um, and in the last 20, 30 years, unfortunately, uh, we are lack in Israel in, uh, in uh, one vision or one main goal that can connect uh, the young generation to the old generation, the right and the left, secular and religious, Israelis and Jews around the world, but around one goal that is actually connected to uh, settling and developing the land of Israel. Uh, and we understood that the Negev and the Galilee can be this vision. Uh, the Negev and the Galilee is almost 80% of the state of Israel. Um, it has a lot of challenges, a lot of problems on one hand, but a lot of opportunities on the other hand. Uh, in 1999, we established with the help of Arik Sharon, at the time, the Minister of Infrastructures. Um, we came to him and we told him about our goals and about our vision, and he said, uh, great, let's uh, work together. And together with him and with his people, we established Uh, Sansana, which is from the Bible, It's, it means Sun Sun. Uh, and this is, was the first community, the first town that was established within the Green Lines, not in the West Bank or, or Gaza, in 15 years. And the Negev and the Galilee are the only regions that this institution helps? Yeah, we chose the Negev and the Galilee, which is in the Green Lines, uh, which means uh, inside the borders of 67. And uh, not um, be without going into the question if it's right or wrong to settle the, 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 the 67 uh, territories. But just we understood that there is so much uh, to do which uh, is undisputable that we, can't, that we don't have to fight on. Uh, so why would we go now and continue the fights and everything? Let's go focus in the 80% that, uh, of Israel that is... Uh, uh, that is, uh, still needs to be developed, uh, still in a huge need of people and, and, and economic growth and uh, uh, development. And is there any company or institution that helps with money or volunteers? First of all, we work very close with the government. Um, besides the money, there is a huge need of governmental support because when you establish a new community, you need Uh, the government approval. You need to, to approve the communities and, and there are also, of course, budgets that are coming from the government to different projects. Uh, reinst different institutions, we are working very close with uh, uh, a lot of Israeli institutions like the Karen Kayemet and the Jewish Agency. And there are a lot of uh, private uh, donors that are supporting our activity. And, um, and recently, mainly here in Brazil, we started a very close relationship with uh, Fundo Comunitario, uh, which uh, I hope that this partnership will uh, get go stronger and stronger 
in the next years uh, and will help us achieve, achieve the goals that we are looking to achieve. And how can people help the institution or there is any website that people can see the yeah, work? Yeah, of course, there is a website. Um, the website is www.ormovement.org.il um, and uh, one word, or movement. Um, and of course there is a way to donate there also online through PayPal or in, in other ways. Uh, but if somebody wants to do a significant donation and to create a project and become a, a partner, uh, so the best way in the next years for sure will be together with Fundo Comunitario. Uh, we can sit together and we can think about the project and, and achieve it and, and do it together. And do you have a message to these young people about of the... Brazil? Yeah, it's of Brazil. The message is that uh, there is still Zionism. There is still, uh, we still, pioneer, pioneerism is still out there. Um, and also when I mentioned before that there is a, a goal and a vision that is lack, that is needed, I don't think it's only the, for the people of Israel, it's also for the young generation and the people outside of Israel because uh, definitely the young generation everywhere now can connect to this vision and grow up with us and with this vision towards the next 20, 30 years in uh, developing and, and actually establishing the, f the next phase of the State of Israel. Their parents or grandparents were very involved in establishing Israel in uh, the 40s, 50s, 60s and, and until today. And now it's their opportunity to join us uh, for the next stage. Thank you very much. My pleasure. E você, continue com o Shalom Brasil.